Hey, it's Brian Quain. I'm with BeforeYouSubmit.com, and it's the final day of the Florida Film Festival, and we have a great retro film coming in. We've had this whole cine like uh, original cinema going on of uh, The Sins, and uh, one of our films is yours. Please introduce yourself and uh, the film that we have at the, the Florida Film Festival. You're leaving it up to me, eh? I would love to have you introduce Brian? yourself. Okay. My name is John Voigt. I'm an actor from California. I'm a Hollywood guy. And what was your first film? What was your from TV you, your first film was? Well, the first film I ever made was a film called Out of It, actually. A little oh, independent right. film mm -hmm. with Barry Gordon. And it was a good film. And I, I played a, a character part, funny kind of guy. Okay. Yep. And then you moved on to... I played a football to... player. Did you? It was my athletic work. <laughs> and then the, the next film you moved on to... Um... I would say that was where you were in Midnight Cowboy, right? Is that where we move on in Midnight Cowboy? Let's talk about, yeah, let's jump to Midnight Cowboy. Let's That's do that. what's going to be on the festival yes. tonight. Yes. And uh, uh, I, I, I did a lot of work in New York as a, as a stage actor at Off Broadway, and then I did some, some television, and I did a couple of little pieces. And finally, I did get the, this, uh, this large film, which I auditioned for over a little bit of time, and finally did get the role, and that became my launching into I think it was. Career. I mean you were you were nominated for an Academy Award and then you won the BAFTA for best for best actor. An BAFTA award? I don't know. Where does he get this information folks? I'm telling you. I he it's, must it's, get it from, you know, blogs. No, it's it's someone whispering in my ear. He must be reading me. his own blogs. But um so, know what's going on here? But it is our final film of the, the festival, so we have to say thank you. Um, you and, <laughs> thank you. No, thank you for See coming. See you later. No, stay, you're staying with us. You're staying with us. Because I want to talk about, um, you co-wrote a film, um, Looking to Get Out, which is Hal, Hal Ashbery's film, and you came from Sarasota. What was it like working with him? Hal Ashby is one of the finest filmmakers uh, in the history of our cinema, actually. And uh, I was very privileged to work with him on Coming Home. And, uh, you know, many awards were won with that show, mine included. I won an Academy Award and New York Film Critics and all of that stuff. And, uh, and then we worked again on Looking to Get Out. And the first version, uh, Hal did not edit it. He walked away from it. He had fights with, uh, with, with the, the, um, the uh, studio entity on the film. And, it was a tough time for him. He was doing three films with the same studio and they were having difficulties, just complications in it. And it injured our film and he never got to finish the edit on it. And then we found a couple of years ago, or I found a couple of years ago, through a person who was writing a book, a Scotsman named Nick Dawson, that he had edited Looking to Get Out and bequeathed that copy to UCLA before he died. And... Uh, and this was like an amazing piece of information to give me a couple of years ago right. because it had been a disappointment to me because I knew the film that we had done was not given the proper uh, send-off. The, the, the work was terrific in many ways. I, I, we, we all felt so badly when it, it, it didn't achieve its fin final, right. final potential. You know? right. so, so, we found, so we found that this film was edited by Hal. It's a brilliant cut of the film, and it puts the film right back into uh, the, its proper place in his great legacy. So it was, it's an enormous find, a, a magical story. And how was it seeing it again after so many years oh, on the big screen? It was fantastic. That's got to be great. That's got to be great. great. Yeah. So you did TV prior, um, starting off, you were doing TV. You're back on Does TV Does he talk right with now. his hands too much? Not at or all. Or is now, it just so me? <laughs> No, you know, the thing is, he he's a hand guy. I'm Look a hand. at this. Watch this. There See? it is. There it is. I think this is asked the question. Uh, that was You can do that with 24. his left hand as well. Next question's about. So is, how is it to be back on 24? How is that? <clears throat> to be back on 24? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you did some TV. I mean, you were, like, coming back into TV to be on 24. How was that? It was uh, It was fun. It's, it's fun to to create a character that people are excited by. That's what's interesting. I, I didn't know that it would get this kind of attention. I had told Kiefer Sutherland early on in, in the life of this show that he was terrific in it and it was going to make a, it was going to be a big, you know, I don't know, just a, a, a big uh, moment in his career, this character. And it turned out to be, and then, and then they asked me to do, um, they asked me to come do this character and I thought back to that 
first uh, couple of weeks of the show when I had approached Kiefer at this charity event, and then I said, well, maybe this is a full circle. Maybe I've got to come back and do, oh, do something great. on the show. And so Kiefer and I got to work together in a scene, and that was fun for me. And then he, uh, he came on my first day. It was 6 o'clock in the morning or something, and he arrives at my trailer, and he wasn't working that day. He just came to oh, push me great. the best. So it was a kind of a nice... Uh, a nice, very nice experience for me, and I love that show, and I love the, the the work to see to to get an inside view or you know like a front row seat at how they make it with it's, the writers, with yeah. the you know the conception of the show, the writing, and the the this extraordinary crew, how the camera work is done, and they work with the three directors that are the, the base of the show. Right. So it was it was wonderful, wonderful experience. It's impossible to like write something like that where it's every minute goes by. It's almost impossible. Like it's, it's, it's a clock ticking, clock ticking, and they did it. it they've done it for what? Seven seasons now, so yeah. seven, eight seasons now. Um, final question. I like what you're wearing. You're wearing your team. Where have we seen this jacket? Where is this jacket this from? This jacket, this, this is the jacket from Varsity Blues. Right. And I right. played this crazy coach, and I, and I had actually designed it myself. I said, you gotta give me a jacket that you know that is his signature jacket. So right. that every time you see the coach, he's that kind of guy, he's that guy. And he, they found this jacket. So this fits. Now put a whole bunch of emblems on it. They came back with these, with these and emblems, and it's just terrific. And so you got coyotes on the back. Coyotes, I know that. and where, it's fun. Where can I get one? Because uh, I don't want to. I'm wearing my team right now. My team is a, a How's British it doing? football team. How's Liverpool doing? We are. Uh, we were at top of the table. Um, we were at top of the table yesterday, but Man United won today, so uh, we're now second, but oh. we're strong. It's going to be a fight to the finish. How did you come as an American to be to like connected Liverpool. to Liverpool? I'm a huge fan. I played as a kid. I played as a kid my whole life. I, I played soccer my whole life. Uh -huh. um, I love the World Cup. That was really all we had in America. Every yeah. four years, you're reminded of the World Cup. And I loved it, loved it. That was like my summer vacation for years. Why did you, why did you just settle on Liverpool? I loved the team. British team. Besides the American, I had the American team in my heart. But uh, as a British team, I followed them. And as uh, the TV just started showing more, now we have soccer channels and stuff like that. Mm. I followed the English team. And Steven Gerrard, Michael Owen were my heroes. And I just thought, I got to follow that team. And Danny Murphy was on there. We had Emil Heskey, uh, Jamie Carragher. And so I stayed with Liverpool. And when Michael Owen, who was my, he was my favorite. He left, I stayed with Liverpool. And that was about eight years ago. And I've always been a, I'm a huge, How old were you huge. eight years ago? Oh man, uh, 26, so 24, 24, 20, 24. 24. It all comes back. It's something. They're scaring me. You know, so it's in the, it's is, in the Spanish moss here. I think it's over. It was meant to be. It is, so. Mr. John Voigt. Great. It's so good, good meeting you, man. Right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon.